recap of astronaut reserve training block two week seven this week we had our basic anatomy and physiology human adaptation to space module and this was one of my favorite modules of training so far we learned all about the human body, basic anatomy, the skeletal system, the muscular system, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, the nervous system, the senses, the digestive system, the urinary system, blood and coagulation. But unlike what you see here, we didn't need all these books like you might need at university in the medicine class. No, we were in VR in the classroom for most of the time. The teacher set up a classroom where we had a human body in the middle of the room and we were able to interact with it. It didn't matter what kind of system that you put in, so you could have the whole human body, you could have just parts of it, you could have just certain systems. So for example, when you just had the skeleton there, then it was very easy to go through and quiz us on which bone was which. We could go up and, and grab the bone that was asked for. We could in enlarge it, have a look at it. Uh, then of course, if you had, for example, for the cardiovascular system. You could go inside the heart and look at where the different valves were, which was quite fascinating. But the point of all this was to learn about what hap then happens to the human body when you're in space. So for example, the, the loss of bone density, the loss of muscle mass, the deconditioning of the cardiovascular system and the complications that that causes, and hence the absolute necessity of doing countermeasures like exercise while you're in space. The other part is that we do a lot of human physiology research when we're on the International Space Station. So we have to be able to do the operations necessary and this is where our practical tasks came in. So we learned how to do ultrasounds on each other, to insert a cannula, draw blood, to insert a catheter and how to do suturing. We used chickens to practice our suturing, but they didn't go to waste because our colleague's very happy dog, Gwynny, got to eat the remains afterwards. So most of this week was medicine, but we also had our last two courses of the space flight and aerospace engineering class. And the first one was concepts of environmental control and life support in space flight. What keeps humans alive while we're in a spacecraft? And there are quite interesting things that you might not think about. For example, where should smoke detectors go? Uh, there's a lot that you have to learn about emergency procedures and how the whole environmental life control system works. We also learnt about spacesuits. And this is an environmental control and life support system all in itself because it's basically a small spacecraft that you, that you go in when you go outside the station on an extravehicular activity. So we learned about the types of materials that are used, uh, learned about the different iterations of the suits that have been used in the past and what's coming in the future.